Sadri wa yassalli amri wa ahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Jazakum Allah khair for coming. May Allah bless this place. It's a beautiful place, but I am going to make a, a disclaimer. I thought it is way much bigger than this. <laughs> it looks very big from the outside. So um, when they told me the musalla of the men are bigger, I guess I'm coming from California and everything is big there. So alhamdulillah, rabbil alhamdulillah. May Allah reward you. I'm going to... Try to make every woman here in this room, bi'idhnillah, by Allah's grace, is to look into your heart, yourself. And bef before I start, or anything I'm going to share, I don't want you to think of anybody except you. Because if you're going to say, if it is good, don't even think about somebody else. Say, is it you? And if it is not you, inshallah, it is all you. Why not? And if it is negative, don't you ever think of someone else. Then you didn't learn. All tasqiyah, all purification, all getting better, getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all about me with Allah. It is nothing to do with other people, including my children, including my spouse, including my friend. It's not, not about people. And all of you, I want you to remember as we are starting that on the day of judgment, I'm going to go to Allah alone. No one will help me. No one will come to my rescue. And if anyone is worse than me, it's not going to change my status with Allah. And if anyone is better than me, it is not going to change my status with Allah. You need to know this. And that's why all tasqiyah, all purification of the heart, is all about me and my relationship with Allah. Is that clear for everybody? So from now, don't think of anyone. Anything is, ask yourself, is it me? When we come to the negative, and I don't know how much time we will have for the negative, the answer is always yes. Don't say it is not me. Never, ever. And this may be very different than what we are used to, especially living in this country, especially for the second generation, people who were born and raised here. Because we love to praise ourselves. And we don't normally praise ourselves directly. You know how we praise ourselves? Indirectly. You want for mothers in this room. You want people to praise your children. Why? You're praising yourself. You want somebody to praise your, the school you are going to. Oh, she got accepted to whatever, Georgetown. You're pra basically not praising Georgetown. You're praising yourself. And we by nature love that. Seek it. And we get upset when we don't get it. This needs to change. Allah said this in Surah Al-Najm, the stars. Do not. And fala is don't. There's no possibility. Do not praise yourself. Or claim you're purified. He, Allah, knows who is the real muttaqi the real person of taqwa. So don't praise yourself. And the sign, and memorize this all of you, the sign you do not like to be praised is not you don't want to hear it. What happens if they don't? And what happens, and I'm not talking about externally, internally, this all tasqiyah is about inside, feelings. What happens if you have done the best work and someone did not say Jazakallah khaira or did not praise and says, this is beautiful. If you get upset, then you really need to work on yourself. Including it's from your spouse or your children or your anyone. The only one you want, you want him with capital H to praise you is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he's not going to praise you here. And if, he, if he, he is not, because if people praise me, doesn't mean anything in the sight of Allah. I want, when I go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I am the one he is waiting for. And I want him when he looks at me and says, when he looks at my salah, for example, and he will say, what a salah you did. That's what I want. If you praise me, all of you, all of you, I think we are more than a thousand here, I was told. If we... All of you praised me, and it weighed zero in the eye of Allah. What is going to benefit me at the Day of Judgment? Nothing, exactly, zero. 
So don't focus on people. And I'm saying this because this is our problem, women especially. We always work from morning to evening to please people, to impress people. Am I correct? Please people, impress people, right? Get upset because she said, he said, didn't say, he didn't say. And what about you with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The qalbu salim, the true heart, that's her focus. That's her focus. Is not what you think of me, is what he thinks of me. And I don't know, so I'm gonna keep trying and I'm gonna keep doing my best and I'm gonna ask him for forgiveness and I'm gonna say, Wallahi, I'm trying. I'm not gonna say, Ya Allah, inna ka ghafoor rahim and I live all my life with this. You're all for forgiving, you're all merciful. I know that, there's no question about it. But I'm not gonna rely on this because then I'm gonna come to him and I'm taking maybe B minus. I don't want to go to Allah with B minus. Who wants to go to any place with B minus? Do you? If you cook something, you want to say grade it and I'll say B minus. Are you going to be happy? No. We all want A, A plus, gifted. Why not with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Have we ever thought of that? When you are invited in a gathering, a wedding, a graduation, a big gathering. Don't you spend how much time in the way that pleases Allah in front of the mirror and you say, I want to go in and I want to feel I am, I look the best. Don't you want to do that? All of us, in the way pleases Allah. Pay attention to this word. Then as you are doing this, you need to ask yourself, how I'm going to go to Allah? How I'm gonna go? We are all going. You wanna forget it, you, wanna, you don't wanna live, you don't wanna think about it, do whatever you want. We're going. Kulluhum atihi yawm al qiyamati farda. Allah said this in Surah Maryam. Each one of them will, will come to Allah atihi. It's in the future. They will come to Him single. Just like when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought us out, the baby is alone. Are you ready? And are you ready not for that meeting, which is very scary? This is why I always tell myself and anybody else when they have an interview, right? And everybody gets anxiety the day before. And I say, you want to get over your anxiety? Think of the moment you are meeting Allah. You, who are you going to meet tomorrow? People, like you and me, right? They cannot benefit me and they cannot harm me unless Allah allows it. True or false? If the whole jinn and ins get together to bring like this Quran, they will not. And what did he say, alayhi salatu wasalam, to Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas? In the famous hadith that most of you know the meaning, when he was a boy, a young boy behind him, right? I'm gonna teach you words. The, the scholar said he was about maybe 11. And look at our 11 year old. And long hadith, at the end he was telling him, Wa'alam, no. If this whole nation got together to benefit you with something, they will not benefit you, but with something Allah has already decreed. Why do we worry about people? Why do we worry about people, what they say about me? She looked at me, she backbited me. Who cares? Let her gift me my hasa, her hasanat. Thank you, keep it coming. That's how I say, wallahi, this is how I say. Great, you just gifted me all your taraweeh of Ramadan. <laughs> how lucky I am. But we don't think about it this way because we are focused on us and please forgive me or our ego. Our ego, how dare she say this? Don't she know? Doesn't she know who I am? This all needs to be, and I'm giving you an introduction because you need all, as I am talking, I want you to all think, is this is me? Do I really get upset when someone doesn't praise me? Do I really get upset when someone doesn't invite me? Do I really get upset because they said this or that? Then, the heart 
is not true. Al-Qalb is Salim, they call it. As Sayyidina Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it in the Quran, as Sayyidina Ibrahim when he said, وَلَا تُخْزِنِي يَوْمَ يُبْعَثُونَ يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ He's talking to Allah, and this is Sayyidina Ibrahim. And he's saying to him, وَلَا تُخْزِنِي يَوْمَ يُبْعَثُونَ Do not disgrace me the day of resurrection. It's not Allah. Allah will not do this to me and you. It's my actions. Meaning, don't expose me. Don't let me disobey you. Don't let me not be what you want. And then he continued. And this, the next two verses, honestly, I want every woman in this room to memorize it. Memorize the meaning. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ The day, which is the day of resurrection, nothing will come to my benefit. Nothing will come to my veil. Nothing will help me. That's what he's saying. And then he specified two things. And I'm going to say it, and I want you to tell me why these two. The day where no wealth or children will be of benefit to me. Why these two? Why didn't he say husband? Why didn't he say parents? Mal, wealth, and banoon. Because we disobey Allah because of those two. We love dunya. What is dunya? Al malu wal banoon zinatul hayat al dunya. You all know it in Surah Al Kahf. Wealth and children is the glory of this life. And Sayyidina Ibrahim knew that and he said, when someone say this, he or she, now, why I'm sharing this with you? Because I need to prepare my life. You know that this is just a side note, and I don't want you to feel bad, but when some people celebrate their birthday, and people look at me and say, do you celebrate birthday? You know, the usual question, was it haram? All this nine yards. I, I ask one question. I'm not going to say haram and halal. Everything is haram and halal. Leave haram and halal on the side, right? I want you to use your brain. I'm not talking about a three or four year old because there is a cake and there's gifts. I'm talking about us. What are we celebrating? No, really. I want you to think of it seriously, deeply. When I, somebody brings this big cake, put it in front of me, and after a certain age, they don't put number off, <laughs> right? At all, it's only one. <laughs> Reality and very happy, or some people sing, or, or blow the candle, or hey, you are. Okay. What are you celebrating? You know, when people ask me, I say about myself, do I really want to celebrate one year closer to my death? Is that a moment I want to celebrate? So forget halal and haram. I'm talking why? Because when we get there, or the same thing, when we get to the new year, whether it is the, the new, our new year, meaning the 2024, or it is the Islamic new year, these moments should be moments of reflections. 25, you become 26. What did you do in this 25 years? Let's say you were a baby, whatever, okay, from age 15. What did you do in this 10 years? Not in dunya, because we all talk about dunya. Remember, al-malu wal Money and children will not come to my veil. I don't care how much money you have in your bank account. It will be zero when I'm in front of Allah. So this is the extremely important for us, as we are Muslims living in this rat race, very quick, all this. Don't forget where are you heading. Where are you heading? Sooner or later. Say that death that you are running away from, it, he, it will meet you. Nobody lived. No one lived. And if anybody should have not died, it would be who? إِنَّكَ مَيِّتٌ وَإِنَّهُمْ مَيِّتُونَ ثُمَّ إِنَّكُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ 
عند ربكم تختصمون الله سد السن سورة الزمر إنك imagine the Rasul عليه الصلاة والسلام reciting this verse to the Sahaba like Sayyidina Jibreel revealed this to him imagine now every time I read it I was like Ya Allah someone comes to me and say you are dying oh and Sayyidina Jibreel said إنك it's, it's, it's an emphasis you are mayyit and mayyit when you read it it's like with an emphasis وَإِنَّهُمْ مَيِّتُونَ Nobody will be here. All of us are going. This is temporary. So here, what I am supposed to do is, everything Allah wants me to do, I am the stewards on this earth, but then as I am in this journey, we have a lot of detours, I call it. Distractions. All of us. But as I am distracted, am I in a constant revision, looking at where I am? What happened? What did I achieve? I guess I think this is the most important question every Muslim should ask. What did you do? Yet up till now, in your life, for your journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.